can't help thinking that somewhere in the universe there has to be something better than man. Has to be. The words are Charlton Heston's. Get out a last signal! The word that we've landed! The world he finds out in the galaxy will challenge every idea you've ever had of civilization. A planet where man is the lowest order of living things, and the superior beings are apes. They build the cities, make the laws, the gods, and control the guns that hunt a race of lowly, terrified humans who run wild in the jungles, are caged in the prisons, and stuffed in the museums. 20th Century Fox transforms the motion picture screen into Planet of the Apes. Pierre Boulle's finest novel since Bridge on the River Kwai. It's a world gone insane, an upside-down civilization that could not be real. Yes, a world of madness and terror. Man has no understanding. He can be taught a few simple tricks, nothing more. You did it. You cut up his brain, you bloody baboon! It's a man! It's a man! It did not end here. It ended in an episode so unpredictable, so shocking, that it made the horror which preceded it seem calm and gentle as a summer's night. A great many people worked long and hard to answer the question of what a civilization would be like where the evolutionary process had been reversed and apes were the superior species. Hundreds of technicians and the largest number of makeup artists ever assembled assisted the producers, the writers, the director, and the cast. Dr. Cornelius Roddy McDowell. Dr. Zira as played by Kim Hunter. Dr. Zayas is portrayed by Maurice Evans. And Nova by Linda Harrison. Now the tribunal has placed you in my custody for final disposition. Do you realize what that means? No. Emasculation to begin with. Then experimental surgery on the speech centers, on the brain. Eventually a kind of living death. Planet of the Apes, beyond your wildest dream. evolved from men? There's got to be an answer. Don't look for it, Taylor. You may not like what you find. Damn you all to hell! The year. 3,955. Charlton Heston as Taylor, a 20th century astronaut, space wrecked in the incredible future. Linda Harrison as Nova, a savage beauty from the enslaved and voiceless human race. They're marked for target practice. James Franciscus as astronaut Brent on a reckless mission to rescue Taylor trapped by the swaggering, brutal master race of apes who dominate the Earth, a planet shattered by the atomic war of a distant, forgotten past. Where are you going? Into the Forbidden Zone. Someone or something has outwitted the intelligence of the gorillas. Oh, and they! And they! <laughs> Face the terrifying dangers of the Forbidden Zone with them. Engulfing you in the shattering experiences that await beneath the planet of the apes. 
Well, there's an intelligence working in this place. They know we're here. We are determined to know what the apes want. War or peace? The super-intelligent mutants. Are they human or something else? In their church, an unspeakable god. A doomsday bomb. Behind their faces, an unbearable secret. We don't kill our enemies. We get our enemies to kill each other. The irresistible war machine of the guerrilla army versus the devastating secret mind weapons of the subterranean mutants in civilization's final battle to answer the ultimate question. Can a planet long endure half human and half ape? Is it the beginning or the end? This is Dr. Zero, her loving husband Cornelius, and little Milo. The most dangerous to man is little Milo. Why? The time is 1973. The place is right here on Earth. How did they get here? What is their reception? Welcome, gentlemen, to the United States. Escape from the planet of the apes. Their adventures are completely fresh, completely new. Astonishingly different from what you experienced in Planet of the Apes and beneath the Planet of the Apes. At first, feared and imprisoned. We'll take the female first. Well, she seems to be pretty smart. All right, we'll go for the banana. Well, why doesn't she take it? Because I loathe bananas. I don't believe it. Zira, are you mad? Until we know who our friends are and who our enemies... And how in the name of God are we to know that unless we communicate? We can speak, so I spoke. <laughs> 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 The president convenes a special board of inquiry. Have you a name? Zira. Does the other one talk? Only when she lets me. <laughs> <laughs> Embraced by our civilization, the nation gives them a hero's welcome. Address, please. The zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's sort of, uh, like Grape Juice Plus. How is that? It's very wet. It's certainly the most incredible story this reporter has ever covered. And you share the impact of every incredible moment. It must have been the shock. Shock, my foot. I'm pregnant. The president's chief advisor wants them murdered, or else the human race cannot survive. The escape. The birth of an infant who could threaten man's very existence. You're the second human I've kissed. You are the first. The relentless chase. The stunning climax. Give it to me, I'll shoot. Why was Washington thrown into a turmoil by this one baby? Stop him! Escape from the planet of the apes. Now, the biggest, the newest, the most exciting of all the planet of the apes pictures. Climaxed by the spectacular revolt of the apes. The most awesome, the most horrifying spectacle in the annals of science fiction. First pampered as pets, then abused as servants, now oppressed as slaves. Order full 
mobilization of all security forces, police, militia, and reserve defense units. See that every entrance into the city is cordoned off immediately. Yes, sir. Our control methods to improve the use of tear gas and sedation dunks. There will be but one control method. Shoot to kill. Ready? the screen explode as man faces ape in the ultimate revolution. Where there is fire, there is smoke. And in that smoke from this day forward, my people will plot and plan for the inevitable day of man's downfall. And that day is upon you now! <laughs> Now, the final chapter in the incredible ape saga. There it is, our wars. This is the hell my forefathers used to speak about. This background radiation alone will give us 300 rentgens an hour. The battlefield, a dead city 12 years after the ultimate bomb has been dropped. The prize the right to inherit what's left of the Earth. The contestants, ape against man. The most unbelievable showdown ever filmed. As the mutants, strange transformed men who live underground like moles, battle the apes to decide who will be master and who will be slain. They're getting away. Kill them. Murder, my son. We will smash the human, and then we will smash Caesar. I don't want to have to remember my husband. I want to love him now. But we who survive create a new race. In the aftermath of his victory, the surface of the world was ravaged by the vilest war in human history. Climaxing the epic series which made motion picture history, comes the last, the most spectacular of all the ape adventures. No! Fight like ape! Out of the forbidden city they roared to settle once and for all who had the right to rule the planet, ape or man.